If you have been to any local park lately or just your apartment complex, True. you may have noticed how popular pickleball is. It continues its incredible rise, becoming the fastest growing sport over the last two years. It's so popular, local cities are making big changes to meet the demand. How would you describe pickleball in Palm Beach Gardens right now? Crazy. It, it just has boomed. Nice play. On any given morning, the Palm Beach Gardens pickleball courts are packed. We started here a couple years ago with what we're looking at, the six courts. We've added these six uh, temporary courts, and now we're adding four new courts that are under construction currently. Nice try. Yep, great serve. Wendy Tatum is the city's director of tennis and pickleball. We have classes, we have open play, which you're witnessing behind me right now, um, wait list. By the time it opens, it sells out in a matter of minutes, and then, you know, they get called in on the wait list. So it, it's just crazy. Jackie Gearlings started playing four years ago. It is a game that pretty much any age can do. It is a game where it builds um, community like none other. I have met the most beautiful people on pickleball courts, and I love it. It's so popular, a recent report from the Sports and Fitness Industry Association found that in 2021, nearly 5 million Americans played pickleball. That's up a staggering 40% from 2020. Pickleball now has pro leagues, and the city hosted a week-long World Pickleball Tournament in November with more than 600 players. They're getting to see Palm Beach Gardens, they're hitting the restaurants, they're in the hotels, they're enjoying it. So for us in the city, that's what we really like to see is the, the amount of economic impact it has for the city. All right, group can enter now. The sport is best described as a combination of badminton, ping pong, and tennis. It's definitely a more social game than tennis. Absolutely, yes, yes. This is more so zone. They're coming out here and having fun, and they want to play again, you know, having fun, play with each other here. Four, five, six. We go to the backcourt first. You might not run the distance as you do in tennis, but it's just as cardio because if you watch, it's fast, short moves, back, forth, back, forth. So it's really quick burst. So you'll see they're getting really quite the workout. You don't think you do when you look at it, but if you play for an hour, you'll you'll feel it. Louis Agon plays three times a week, except the week we caught up with him. You're not on the court today, Lou, because you play too shoulder. much pickleball. It's what happened? I don't know, it's crazy, but I hurt my shoulder and my uh, orthopedic guy told me to stay away for a couple of days. What is it that you like so much about pickleball? It's not an easy game. It looks easy, but it's not. It's very challenging and it's great. You can play with men and women, which is, which is even better. And we always have a great time. It's a lot of fun. It's more fun than the game itself. That's Lou. He's like the mayor of the pickleball courts. Everybody loves Lou, and they are having so much fun out there. It seems like there. a great time. Yeah, and the sports has also really grown among younger players uh, with hopes to see the sport on the college level and perhaps even the Olympics. Because of that, some local players in Palm Beach Gardens, part of them, those who you saw there, they held a fundraiser last year and raised $11,000 to put that towards the city's junior program. So they really want to grow it because it just gets getting popular at every different age level.